Hello everybody. Yellowstone has made history with its immense success over the past four years. The show, created by Taylor Sheridan, has everything we can possibly want from a TV series. It has an intriguing plot, a charming setting, and most importantly, complicated characters that we cannot get enough of knowing them. The series is revolving around the Dutton family. They are the owners of the biggest ranch in Montana. They have been in the state for more than two centuries, which makes them one of the oldest families there and very respectable socialites. However, this also means that they are bound to mingle with the local politics. Not only the ethnic diversity of the region requires special attention and political balance, but also the modern imperialist companies are more than eager to invade everything that the Duttons have, forcing the family to be on alert at all times. In the past four seasons, we witnessed the family dealing with a different enemy each season. And yet, as the time passes, it gradually became more apparent that the real families might have occurred from within the family. The unique family dynamic of the Duttons was providing a perfect basis for intra-family drama. At this point, we have to mention the patriarch of the family, John Dutton, as he is the key figure that keeps the family together, even though he fails to do so recently. John is a true rancher and cowboy who prioritized the family legacy and tradition over everything. This specific priority complicates his ties with his children, as they often feel a pride of Duttons but fail to embrace the family bond. They love their father but are often lacking in receiving love. This might seem like a regular problem in a regular family. However, when it's Duttons, we should always be aware that they are capable of anything and everything, which makes them much more dangerous than any average human being. This imbalance in love and bond eventually cause rivalries between the siblings. When it's combined with some unfortunate lack of communication, we ended up siblings turned into enemies. Yes, we're referring to the horrendous relationship between Jamie and Beth, which reached an unimaginable point during Yellowstone Season 4. The uncanny dynamic between the two reached a point that now we're concerned about the well-being of both of them, especially Jamie. In the season 4 finale, Beth learned that Jamie was aware of his father, Garrett's crimes, but failed to inform the Duttons about it. Beth turned this information into leverage and forced Jamie to kill Garrett, which would eventually lead Jamie to be completely dependent on her. We all knew that Beth was hating Jamie, but we could never imagine that her hatred would cause a man to kill his father. Jamie left with no other option, killed Garrett, and is now forced to be almost a slave for Beth, since she has the evidence of him burying his father. In our opinion, this turn of events will not lead to anything good for either of them. We believe Jamie is on the break of a mental breakdown, which would either harm Beth or himself. It would be logical for him to ambush Beth and make sure she is sorry for anything she has done. However, we don't think Jamie is able to think logically after all these things he had been through. So we think it's likely for him to lose his mind and harm himself. In fact, he might even kill himself since he cannot stand living without Garrett and knowing that he killed his father. What do you think about Jamie and Beth's relationship? Which sibling are you rooting for? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.